Okay, so welcome everybody. Uh, today I am taking a look at this. This is a stage, if you will, for a feature I'm doing. A little animated video, if you will, and a share of sorts. To a music track by Crusade. You may recognize my Winnebago from a previous video about Y Hole. And uh, basically, I'm going to take you through the systems in this, just quickly explaining what everything is and uh, briefly going over what it does and giving a quick demo. So, obviously, it's a Winnebago, and you have in the front seats and a steering wheel, faction block, and a weapons computer. Now, I did gut the weapons out for this particular uh, ship. We're going to move into the back, and as you can see, there's a lot of um, there's much logic in the back, uh, and we're going to go through it all. It might look a bit confusing at the moment, but actually it's, it's really not. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do is uh, just come into astronaut mode. There we go, helmet on. And if I just get in gravity... Oh, in fact, no, we're going to float. I'm going to show you a few things. So, what we've got over here is a giant timer. This is, uh, I think it's a 10 second timer. It might actually be, no, 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 it's 14 seconds, something like that. Um, and every single block, if I hit C, each delay chains to the next one and to this plex door that's in front of it. So you can visually see that the clock is running properly. It's nice for uh, checking things work and it looks visually quite entertaining too. <coughs> as you can see there's an input and an output for the clock there's additional reroutes as well so like this one it actually comes from here to here <laughs> okay but we'll go through it um, effectively I've used the lab equipment to hide most of my wiring so there's a couple of master switches which trigger things off but um, the first thing is obviously this one here is what I call the harmonic injector. So this can be timed, so you push, um, push on it. <coughs> and it will fire this beam off. Of course, I can't see any beams at the moment, which is nice. Nah. So trust me, it fires a beam. Hang on, let's see if I can just make it. It's there! Leave us! You can trust us! Yeah, normally you see the beam going off anyway, for some reason I can't see it. Um, Always trust these bald men in the Winnebago. <laughs> and there is another set of switches here. There's a bunch of delay blocks under each of the white blocks. And the delays run off of this switch here. So we go from this switch <coughs> to delay blocks there and there and there. And then the last one goes to here. The reason it's the other way around is because I changed the order after I'd done it because it looked better backwards. <laughs> so I just relinked them in a different order and uh, didn't have to rebuild anything. Uh, from this knot, we go to an activation, and from the activation, we trigger these the doors and the lights. So at the moment they're off. So just to show you what I mean, if I was to trigger, I just want to turn that section off. I can that. Okay, just about to see that. So you can do each section individually. Like for example, I can do that bit. It's going to take just the corners. I can take the middle bit. It's going to take just the middle. I take that one. It takes the inner side. So if I put them all open, they're like this. And then I can do it like that. You're never going to get that combination from this circuit. Because normally you would invert that. You can't do that if you put it all in one circuit. So this is why everything's running individually. So that's that. Um, that's that tiered build you were talking about, right? Yeah. Where you make a circuit and then you put under the control of another circuit. Yeah. So it means you can use the master switch, which triggers the whole sequence, or you can trigger each part of it individually. It takes more. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. You got to branch off. It's like yeah. in software, you don't build it all in one chunk, right? You gotta exactly. build modules. And so, by that way, what we can do is, if this triggers this locking sequence for the Y-hole, 
at the heart of the reactor. And that means we're at the lock in place. So there's a slight delay triggering this activation lock, which is obviously going into there. Okay, there's a slight delay. Now this is actually being fed from the same trigger that this clock is on. So when this clock starts, which opens the floor, it will also start that end as well, because it's coming back, if you see, so I'll just show you that. So we're gonna trigger this. And so down comes the wave relay. And it goes into the reactor, slight delay. And I think I already had it on, so that's how it will stay. So if I now turn that off, I'll move it, hang on. <clears throat> and, um, I can get out of your way. Over here we've got another system. So if I trigger this block, it's going to open that set of flex doors and reveal that green area there. It's <laughs> nice lighting. If I trigger this one, oh, it's going to trigger the salvage beam from both sides, which is going to give us that beam effect across there. And then the top one, is going to give us the beam effect there. So then by triggering them both at the same time, we get the beams coming down and across the uh, point where the wire hole's been placed. So effectively, <laughs> we're going to go back now and find out where that signal's coming from. The signal's coming from this activation block. This activation block also gives the same tick to this one. So all the beams are going to be working at the same time. Um, going back, we've got a set block. So if I trigger that now, that's going to start a clock going. So by opening that and closing it, it puts a signal into this activation, which triggers the delay. The delay is linked to the doors. They open and close with the delay. And then the pulse from here goes into this OR gate. And this is where things get a little bit tricky. But what you've got to remember is, instead of hooking your clock up to itself, you hook it up to an OR. And then you go from that OR to the switch that you want to use the toggle on. Because if you notice, the clock's running right now, but nothing's happening. So if I come back over to this second switch, which is feeding into the OR, and then that OR gate is going out into this activation. If you remember, I said this activation block is what is firing this cannon and also the salvage, that door. Okay, so all of that's firing off of this pulse, but only when this is on. So off they go. I don't know why, but for some reason you can't see this beam at the moment. But um, it was working yesterday. <laughs> It's a shame you can't see that. So I might actually just quickly do a client cache reset and uh, see if that makes any difference. But yeah, effectively that's your circuit. So we've got the switch, we'll just turn it off just to show you that it does turn off. There you go, it's off. And just out of interest, if you did want to actually you know, manually stop this clock, uh, what you need to do is remove the glass from the front, remove the door from over the delay, select the delay block, and select the delay block, and unlink it from the uh, next in the chain. And like I say, I'll clear it, so it'll be done. That's it, done, unlinked. Um, but yeah, the only thing left really is just to show like when it was all firing and this opening, so you get to see the uh, activation of the wave. The wave comes in, boom.
So yeah, it's quite a cool little system. Um, I'm just going to see if I can get this to work. Hang on. I've got an idea. If I get in the flight mode real quick. Oh, see, there's nothing there. Huh. See, that could be a problem if the computer if it doesn't think I've got one. Then, yeah, that, that could be a problem. So let's just see if we can remove it. Did, uh, did your beam come unlinked from its computer? I th no, it was linked, but there's nothing on the on the ship core HUD. So I'm thinking, huh. yeah. So I'm just going to go and relink it by you know, taking it off and putting it back on. And then we get into flight mode. And I've got a power supply beam computer now. <laughs> so let's actually fire it. Yeah, and it's firing backwards. You can't see it, but it is. See that? Feel the power. I love it. The harmonic injector is strong. Okay, so. Flux capacitor? Yeah. Maybe that'll be next. Go to the DeLorean, that would be awesome. Aha! Oh! We have a pulse. Nice. Okay. So now let, it, let us fix it, everything. I don't need to reload or anything now, I've fixed it. So, select that, put a door down, link the door, put another one on it, link that, put glass in front. Where's my glass at? Right. 